everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I did a video a week ago just reviewing what expansion packs I think that um, you guys should buy or are worth buying, especially during this whole self-isolation period. I thought it'd be quite a nice video to film. And I've had quite a few people that have also requested I do a games pack video. So this is obviously what we're going to do today. And I am going to do an expansion not an expansion pack, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm going to do a stuff pack video as well after this. But yeah, a lot of you have um, requested um, this video. Just before I get into it, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon to get a notification every time I post. And obviously leave a thumbs up on this video if you are enjoying these kind of review videos. I mean, I just want to say as well, this is my opinion. You guys probably won't agree with my opinion. Everyone's opinion is different. But this is just my opinion on what I think you guys should invest your money in and what you guys should add to your game. But anyway, we're going to start off with Outdoor Retreat. I'm going to put this one in I Forget About It because it's just a bit, I don't know, I feel like it's not really talked about a lot. It's not really my sort of gameplay. I don't really feel like it adds that much to your game either. I'm just not a massive fan of it. So for me, Outdoor Retreat is going in. I forget about it. I don't even have much to say about it because I really just don't really think about it at all, to be honest. It's just not really something that I like to play with. Now the next one we're going to talk about is Parenthood. Now this one is going straight up to buy it now. I absolutely love this game pack. I feel like even just the addition of the parenthood skill is just amazing for the game. Especially if you're a gamer uh, like a simmer like me that loves doing family gameplay and like realistic gameplay. It is such a good addition. I've just added it into my game recently actually with my 100 baby challenge and I, I'm absolutely loving it. I 100% recommend the creator sim items in this pack are so good and actually to be fair so are the um, build and buy items but I cannot really fault this pack the one thing I would say is there are a hell of a lot of pop-ups that can be really really annoying but I mean you sort of can forgive it for that because it just adds so much to your game I, I would a million percent recommend parenthood without a doubt I think that's my favorite game pack number one for me parenthood if you haven't got it already go and buy it now one of the best game packs ever so yeah that's enough for parenthood I'm not going to big it up too much <laughs> but my next one I'm going to talk about is realm of magic I'm going to put this one in meh because it's not really my personal style of gameplay. I know a lot of you guys like to um, play with like the mystical and obviously like wizards and that sort of gameplay. But I'm not really into that sort of thing. I think a lot of like Harry Potter fans jumped on this pack and absolutely love it. And that's fair enough if you do. But for me, I don't know if I would tell you guys to buy it. It's very, eh, I don't know. It's just a very, as a, as the category says, meh pack. I'm not a fan, but I'm not not a fan. It's just a very, it's almost in the I forget about it category. That's how I feel. It's just not really for me. I think the idea of it's cool. And obviously the creative sim items are great. And you get the secret world, all this stuff. But personally... It's a no from me. Not really something I would add to your game as a priority. But maybe if you had all the other packs and you wanted to buy another pack, then you could invest in Realm of Magic. So the next one I'm going to talk about is Strangerville. And sadly, this one is going straight down to Do Not Buy. And the reason for this is because the idea of it is great. I had a lot of fun playing it when it first came out. But once you've played it and you've done the storyline, you've done it. Like, there's not really much else to do. You get a new world with it. 
and things like that. And you get some cool creative sim items and build items again. But one, when they released this pack, it was so sloppy. Like, even the buildings that they put in the world that you get, obviously Strangerville, it was just, there were, wasn't even complete. You had, like, um, community lots that were hardly even furnished. I just, it's a massive no. And two, it's great to play the storyline. And if that's the sort of gameplay you like, then maybe I would recommend that for you. But once you've completed the storyline, that's it. You can't really go back and do it again because you already know how to do it. There's no differentiating, or well, there's not no different routes to how to play the pack. Like once it's done, it's done. It's very much a one-use thing. So I don't know whether invest in I don't know. I think it's like seventeen pounds or something for a game pack. Well, in the UK, it's seventeen pounds. I don't know if investing that amount of money is really worth it. Maybe if there's money off of it and you want to add something to your game and you've got all the other game packs, then maybe. But I just think the idea of it was great at the time, but they didn't really think through the durability of it. Once you've played it, it you kind of just forget about it. I mean, I should have put it in, I forget about it, but I really don't want you guys to be wasting your time on Stranger Built at all. It's fun at first, but... I mean, if you get a refund, get a refund after you've done it because you will never use it again. So the next one I'm going to talk about is Jungle Adventure. And again, I'm going to put it in I Forget About It, the same as Outdoor Retreat. I don't really think about it that much, to be honest. Both of these, I just think they're a bit... Mm, I, I don't. I honestly never even think about them. That's annoying me that that's not in line. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I just don't really think about them two at all. That's just my opinion. You guys might feel differently. But, in my opinion, it's a no from me. So, yeah, I'm not really talking about that much because I just forget about it anyway. I'm not going to sit here and talk about it. So, the next pack that I'm going to talk about is Spa Day. And I'm going to put this one in Enjoyable. Not for the gameplay aspect um, necessarily, but the build and buy items are so, so pretty and so nice. They really add a lot to, um, obviously, the building in the game. And yeah, I think for me, for that aspect, I would definitely um, invest in that if you want to um, invest in some great creative sim and build and buy items. But the whole gameplay aspect is not really for me. So I can't put it in buy it now because it definitely, definitely is not on the same level as parenthood in no way, shape or form. So it's staying enjoyable. I wouldn't say no to it, but I wouldn't tell you to buy it over parenthood. So if you haven't got parenthood over spa day, definitely go for parenthood any day of the week. So the next one I'm going to put in um not put in what am i talking about the next one i'm going to talk about is dine out now this is very controversial but i'm going to put it in meh a lot of people probably would have put it in do not buy and i know that that pack does have a lot of bugs in it i'm not really sure if they have sorted the bugs out because i hardly ever play the pack it's just not really for me um I think at one point I even disabled it. I probably still have it disabled actually because it was just so buggy I couldn't be bothered. But I, lo I love the idea of the pack and I feel like if they would have executed it a little bit better it would have done so, so well. But I don't know. The idea of it's great so I can't put it on Do Not Buy because I do like the idea of that, being able to take your sims out and obviously do fun things with them. But it's definitely not anywhere near the enjoyable or buy it now categories so again dine out staying in the meh and obviously finally for game packs we have vampires and this is going straight into buy it now and um, this is only my personal opinion i don't know if it's because i've always been a twilight fan but i love 
um, the idea of being able to play with vampires. I don't know why I find it so different to the whole realm of magic thing, but for the magic aspect of it is not for me, but I love vampire, I love anything vampires to be honest, so it's really enjoyable for me. It's got really amazing, like, um, old fashioned styled furniture for your houses, which I love. Amazing wallpapers, like the build and buy is so good. And I don't really care much for the creative sim items because they are very, very gothic and vampire-y, but I absolutely love the pack. The one thing that does annoy me, obviously, a lot of you will probably agree with this, is Vlad, who is basically the main vampire that comes with this pack. And he just comes to your house all the time. And it is so frustrating. But that said, parenthood has its downfalls as well with the whole notifications thing. So apart from Vlad, that, that pack, in my personal opinion, I absolutely love it. I don't know why. I, just for me, I would buy it a million times over. Parenthood and vampires for me are the ones to get 100%. Them two are the ones that you need. Do not ever buy Strangerville unless you just want to add some creative sim items into your game. But then again, I'd probably just go and get some custom content. It's not for me. And then all the others... It's up to you to do your research and decide, but yeah, definitely parenthood and definitely vampires. And yeah, that is my opinion on the game packs for the game. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I am going to, um, at some point, either this week or next week, also do a stuff packs review. So yeah, um, please don't forget to like um, this video if you enjoyed this review and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn the bell icon on to get a notification every time I post but thank you so much for watching it really means a lot to me that you've came on here and watched my videos and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys